Daisy Oskahawk, and this is a quarter circle square. Years ago, I fell in love with this particular shape and all the possibilities that come with making them. I think there's a little bit of magic in these shapes because based on where you place color and how you orient the block, there are endless design opportunities. That's the basis for my book, Quilting with Curves. These 20 projects all have one thing in common. They utilize this particular shape and more specifically, this particular seam in all of the quilts. Some of the more basic projects are perfect for beginning curved piecers or experienced quilters who want a quick sew. Fortune and stacked curves both utilize a three inch quarter circle square. Scoop and bumps and thorns both use larger quarter circles that make for a bigger couch or bed quilt. Once someone is ready to go beyond the single curve, projects like sightseeing and half spots are opportunities to nest one curve inside of another. And then peppermint twist and ginkgo fans nest multiple curves. If strip piecing sounds appealing, there are three projects in the book that combine stripes and curves, Midnight Sun, Mystery Keys, and Circle. The Cider Press Quilt and Lady Bird Curve Quilt Pair curves and triangles to create beautiful blocks that can be made with some easy chain piecing. And finally, the last project in the book is one of my favorites. With over 700 curve seams, Spinning Tradition is a delightful display of curves next to curves inside of curves with some more curves. These curves don't require any specialized tools, though I do enjoy basting my curves with small diameter glue pins. Paper templates are included in the book, and I have acrylic templates for sale on my website for quilters that want to utilize them to make cutting out their fabric a little easier. With over 20 projects and a vast array of possibilities for this one little building block, I hope that you find something that excites and inspires you. I'm Daisy Oskahawk, author of Quilt.